Infinite Tarot 888. What's going on, Libra? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, anywhere in your chart. Look at this. Bad news, maybe with family. I don't know, pero I'm hearing el chismoso, el, la chismosa, something about gossip. What's going on with you? I was about to say Aries. Maybe you're dealing with the Aries or I don't know, pero somebody wants forgiveness. But they're doing it in a sneaky way. Maybe the way they're wanting to do it. Hold on. There's something that is not in supposed to be in here. Hold on. Okay, I found you. So maybe you're finding out some things. They didn't expect you to, to really find out. Maybe you were in a different thing. Look, reflection. This doesn't even belong in here. This is true emotions, okay? So, but we're going to say, it says right here, take time to revisit the past and figure out what you want to do. Knowing what you don't like will show you what you truly love. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's roll the dice on that because some of you guys, you're taking a risk and you're like, what is up? And you got the number seven. The number seven. All right, we're going to pull the seventh card from this bitch, okay? Or we're going to... One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. What do you have right here? It says cycle X. Okay, we're going to go off of this one. And the lights are switched. So maybe they're trying to switch, you know, on you. Maybe they're trying to hide something. But is it because karma's coming for that ass? Put it in the comments. Karma's coming for that ass. And look, they can't cope with it. But, but Libra, some of you guys had to go through some bullshit that they watched you. Maybe it's a love spell that's returning back to sender. But some of you guys, you didn't need, they didn't even need to do that shit. You loved them unconditionally. Mm. This could have been somebody you had a family with. I saw the family card right there. But let's see. Divine Feminine. You could be the Divine Feminine. Or they could be. What do you want me to pull? What do you want me to pull? Mm -hmm. This one again? All right, let's see. Okay, let's see. This one, the shadows. This is this new deck that came in. Look, it says... Tarot of the Sacred, the Sacred Kingdoms. I haven't read on it, but we're just going to use our intuition on this particular, this deck. For a lot of you guys, your intuition, I'm hearing your intuition is on point, baby. Big time. And maybe that's something that you needed to learn about this Psycho X. Maybe they didn't want you to, to know who you truly was or who God created you to be. I don't know, but you have a reflection over this crazy ex. And maybe at one point, Libra, this particular person, you saw them in a different way. Look, the Ace of Cups. This is beautiful cards. Look at this. You might have seen them in a different way. And now, look at them. Crazy ass, demonic looking, crazy ass person. And these two cards came out. It says justice, the king of pentacles. So Libra, you could be dealing with a earth sign that is about that you're about to get justice. Or for a lot of you guys, you may have earth in your chart. And you've been asking for justice. Or maybe you're dealing with the earth sign that is a you're about to get justice over this particular cabron, cabrona. And they're look, they're in the house, they're like, ah. I don't know why I'm getting this particular download. Maybe you have a person that out in the public, they seem like they just innocente, que no le pasa. No puede, they couldn't even kill, kill a cockroach. Maybe they're afraid of them. But for a lot of you guys, you could be stepping into your power. You're the king of pinnacles. You know, you everything you touch, you know, turns into gold. Maybe you have the Midas touch. Put in the comments, baby shit. But you... You bring in justice, or justice is being, you know, served on be on be on your side, and it could be over your finances. Okay, so they want me to put it over there. Some of you guys, look, you stepped into this 
bull journey. And a lot of you guys, you guys thought you were alone, but look at this big ass wolf. A lot of you guys, they see you as the long wolf. Maybe you got rid of everything. God told you to say, hey, you're coming on this journey and it's only you. And you're like, but I want to take Hulano and I want to take my, my friend and Matthew or the doody do da da da, whatever. And the universe said, no, and brought this freaking power. So some of you guys said, oh, dale, I'm moving forward with this four of pinnacles. Now, you being as the page of cups right here, this is you going on a new journey. And for a lot of you guys, now that you're moving forward, you may have an ex that is watching you. And this particular ex, I don't know why. They're, it's almost like God, the universe, is putting them to reflect of all the bullshit they cause you. Because the reflection is right here. They may be in the dark. Maybe at one point you were there. You really, you really revisiting that area. Look, the light again. And at one point you felt like the light was shut down on you. Like maybe you went into darkness and you see this darkness. Look, the light keeps switching, man. I'm telling you, somebody's ancestors in here. I've been getting that all weekend, man. <laughs> They got a special message for you. Let me put it back again, okay? That's the second time. So you're in this Ten of Wands, but look at this Ten of Wands, this person with the Ten of Wands, okay? Usually in the traditional tarot, se para la madre, como se llama, right away or something. But look, that's a person with all the wands right there, carrying them, whatever. But this is you. This is you with the Ten of Wands. And, and there's a, it's almost like you're fine tuning all the lessons. You're like, all right, I went through this and I went through that. And it's a reflection also for you because you're fulfilled with this. You have the, the nine of cups right here, but look, nobody sees how, because some of you guys, you've been tucked away and you could be in a cave or you could be in un pinche casa que you might even feel like it's a mansion, but you're where God wants you to be. Fulfilled, happy with the nine of wands. Look, you have the ten of wands, nine of wands. So some of you guys may look at the past, but you already at the ten of wands right here. You already had this ten of wands. Or maybe that's somebody from your past that feels betrayed and they're coming right behind you. But uh, some of you guys are like, no, yes, do. I'm focusing on something else. And this person wants to come in with this page of swords. But look, I've been watching you. For some of you guys, you're like, nah, I'm good with the Ace of Swords. I already know the truth. And there's a page of sword that wants to come in and they want to be like, look, I'm using my intuition. But and it could be a Pisces that's trying to come in. You know what? That third party wasn't a third party, but you're like, nah, I'm good. Whether it was or not, I'm good. You're in the Queen of Swords. You're like, you know what? I don't need that. I know the truth. And look, the two of pentacles. This is you with the universe. You know? You're picking the universe. The universe has more power, you know? And maybe with this reflection, because this ball of fire is almost like magically, you're looking at things from all perspective. And Libra, you're like, you're, you have your own fucking scale. You're like, yeah, this happened, you know, and this could have been good. And you're balancing your own scales with the universe. And this is what this person doesn't know. Because it's been hidden. You got the moon right here. Look. Fire and water. So some of you guys, you could be dealing with somebody called fiery water and they fucking bring a lot of a lot of um steam. Okay, so that's what you have in the past. Maybe that's what you're dealing with right now, but let's move forward. What's the present moment? What's the present moment? Because that's what maybe you were working up to right now. But let's get let's get a they want one of these. What's going on right now for? Libra, sun, moon, rising, Venus, anywhere in your chart. Now, don't tell me you got another yellow card in here. Perate. Look at this. Ups and downs. You know, these cards are from, you guys have a connection with cancer, I think. And look how the light is just dimming. Up and down. You're going up and down the stairs. Maybe you live on the top floor. Maybe you're Going up and down with your energy, stay high vibration, okay? You don't need no low vibration. Maybe maybe with a sex addition, maybe you want 
some sex and you had a sex addiction and maybe somebody in sex addiction doesn't have to be like you're out there putting your ass out there for sale but for some of you guys yes but for a lot of you guys no it's just you cut this sex addiction you had with a particular person and it could have been you in this divine uh feminine or it could have been with your divine feminine that you cut it off you said no you know what i'm gonna hold on to my pito it's gonna be good i'm gonna clear out this energy and they're losing sleep and it could be the other way around ladies it's you that said you know what i'm gonna keep my box my cookies to myself i'm gonna clean out this energy as you should for both ends because there was some you know sex addiction could be cabron you know and for some of you guys, it could have led to a baby and you barely find it out. And I'm hearing God is with you, baby, because some of you guys feel like you're all alone, but God is with you. And someone's having a baby. And I don't know why I keep hearing, but God is with you. Maybe you're alone. Maybe you're having to deal with this alone as, as a mother. Because, and I'm picking up. For some of you guys, you could have been dealing with somebody that you were going to come into union. And the cycle X might have put some blockages to prevent from you guys coming into union. And it's causing you this. And they're pissed off because they feel like a jackass, jackass right here because they're not the feminine. For you guys, if you're the feminine, you could be losing sleep. But I don't know why. Let's see. In the present moment, this card, look, they're about to get shocking news, but why? There's a love child. What did I say? I could. Ooh. There was a child that was born. Even if you're incarcerated or your person's incarcerated, you're going to give them the news. And the X, the cycle X, is going to be like this. La chingada. So somebody... Somebody betrayed themselves when they betrayed you. They might have pushed you in a different direction. This person backstabbed you behind the scenes. Look, you called them out on this, you know, work affair. For a lot of you guys, this, this person that they had an affair with was just the trap that you might have warned them. You were heading to your divine feminine or your divine masculine. And this particular person, man, they backstabbed you because you found out. That they're the secret. They're, <laughs> was it was just a trap. You could have warned them for this particular person. It's over. This ex knows it's over. So they caused a lot of blockages. Look, they were triggered. Because for a lot of you guys, you tapped into your spiritual gifts. And this card's been coming out for a lot of you guys. You're starting to meditate. <laughs> now, I told the last few signs when you go into meditation, it's going to require you letting go of ex-families, ex-friends, ex-lovers that caused you harm. You have to let go. And you they said this meditation, this infinite meditation. And when you go in there, you got to breathe. You got to align your chakras. You got to sit in tight. Gemini. You could be dealing with the Gemini. I said this in Gemini. Now, Libra. Just get Indian style. And they want you to, they want you to do this, you know, when... You're going up like this. When you're going back down to the left, you're releasing all the negativity, everything you don't need. As you're coming back, you're going to be embracing everything you want. So basically, it's an infinity. You're letting go to the left what you don't need, and to the right, you're calling in the good, good. Okay? Some of you guys, with your spiritual gifts, there was a person that was fed up. They didn't want you to go that way. They don't want you to be spiritual. For some of you guys, they were supposed to be your ride or die, but they were too controlling. They were about the money and they didn't realize that you were going to pull money from, from the sky, from the de arriba. They just didn't want to didn't want to go your direction. They wanted to go single life. And for some of you guys, you wanted that. That was you that wanted the single life because this particular person always made you feel like shit. And this person, you're going to know, porque es una mierda. Men or women, they cause you blockages. You know, they try to put you in handcuffs. And they're a total jackass, you know. They could have been sitting there slandering your name and all they have is memories. And they're not even happy with that fucking joker that they chose over you. The one you told them it was going to be a trap. 
Because for a lot of you guys, you close out that cycle. And this is what pissed them off. You balanced the scales. You said, hey, if you have that other person, go for it. And it pissed them off the way you closed that cycle. And it's true emotions. <laughs> Let's turn it around. They miss you. All they have is memories. And they're not happy. And they're mad because you rejected them. For a lot of you guys, Libra, this is a person that you, you behind the scenes, you said, hey, I'm closing this shit. I'm getting the paperwork filed. And you rejected them. And they were mad because you had new romance. So this is a person that, look, that left you hanging. This is a person who could, could have called the laws on you. So unexpectedly, they took you into jail, domestic violence. But they're pissed off because none of that shit was true. The only thing they wanted, and this came out with cancer. I don't know if you got dealing with the cancer. But they wanted you to come back begging in this separation. Like, please, will you take me back? And what happened, Libra? You were just living your best life. You know what I'm saying? Reckless sex? Nah, it wasn't about that. This is about you. This was you living the good life. And for a lot of you guys, they feel, they feel they're getting this bad news. Because look, even if they fucked you over legally here on earth, dude, the spirit realm is still working in your favor. They're about to, this person, you could have been bumping heads. But the person they're with, they're bumping heads. There's a sex addiction with one of them. I'm hearing one of them goes both ways. And look, the DNA. And you could have told this particular person. I call this. This is the person you said, look, yeah, I don't want nothing to do with you. And this person they didn't like. So they caused, in your spirituality, they caused a lot of conflict. They had the ego. They wanted you to, to beg them. This I'm telling you, this is divine masculine or your divine feminine either way why did they hate you because look you were going on your spiritual journey and you know what for a lot of you guys you could have been in this energy before and they couldn't but they couldn't believe that you could go on a spiritual journey but they're not happy because yes you used to be like that and some people whoever turned their back on you that's with a new person they're realizing like holy shit Speechy Libra came out the mud. I don't know if you did come out the mud, but you came out of somebody, somewhere. And so they're under pressure because they're fake business. Maybe they talked a lot of shit about you. Maybe they created a fake business. It's coming out to light. And their anxieties, they're like, holy shit, people are finding out. This is a person that, that blocked you, but they're still looking at you. They're trying to cope with your loss. And how do they see you so confident, so secure? The queen bee, the king dingaling, you know? I don't know, but they see you career focused. You bossing the fuck up. And for a lot of you guys, it's in a different industry. Some of you guys in the same industry, and you, they know you're about to fucking take them out of business. It's just a matter of time because you're moving on. They miss you. And this is somebody that bumped heads with you. They like that dingaling or that cookies, but oira, you're moving on. God has something better for you. Always, always believe that and trust God. They showed you their true colors. Chingos quieres eso. Now they're ashamed. For some of them, they got an STD. Why? Because look, their love spell backfired. It went back to them. The police might be watching them or they might be watching you and you're like, mira, mira todo lo que tú quieras. But if they did, a uh, spiritual amarre or love spell, that's a karmic lesson for them. You're going to see the downgrade they fucking fuck with. The police are even watching them. They're like, well, I thought you said Leaper was doing this. And for a lot of them, they're about to go to jail because they mirrored. They were projecting what they told the people outside, what people believed about you, Libra, is them projecting, you know, projecting what they were doing. And they're about to get karma. Look, it could be a fire sign that you were dealing with. Uchi has fire sign. You're going to have justice, man. They fucked up. So you don't need to worry about it. You know what I'm saying? They feel like this could have been somebody you had family with. The universe could have gave them time to repent, to come and ask for forgiveness. Not that you were going to walk with them. But look, 
they ran out of time. For some, it was just time to just call it quits. Yeah, they didn't resonate. You, God has somebody better for you. So they have a spiritual as fuck message. And for look, this came out strong right here. Proverbs 12, 22. So some of you guys may be seeing two, two, two. It says, the Lord detests lying lips, but he delights in those who tell the truth. So the truth is coming out. Don't worry. For a lot of you guys, just leave it in God's hands. Put it in the comments. I'm going to leave it in God's hands because some God has something better for you. It says right here, it's time. It's up to you to find beauty in the ugliest days. So isn't this, man, for some of you guys, isn't this the fucking truth? Dude, we go through harsh. I don't know about you guys, but in the past, we've gone through fucking harsh Harsh as things. A lot of these people wouldn't be able to walk in your shoes. Some of you guys are in right now. Ahorita están en ese proceso. You're in the process right now. The only thing I could ask you, Libra, or advice I could tell you, change that point of view of what you're going through. Look at it from a godly perspective and, and claim that bitch. Put it in the comments. I love my spiritual journey because that's what it is. That's what you're going. You can fight all you want. All you want from the past to what you're going through right now, but it's until you embrace it and you say, oh, you know what? That shit had to happen. I embrace my spiritual journey and open up to that connection with the divine so he could guide you on which way to go and what to look for. Because a lot of this is just you embracing the process, your divine process, the way God is going to mold you, the direction he's going to put you. Because your testimony is going to be wild. It's going to help people in, you know, from all over the world. But you have to embrace it. You have to want it. You, you have, you, you're going to want to tackle this situation with love, with forgiveness, with letting go. And some of you guys, yeah, you could forget it. For some of you guys, you're like, yeah, I'm, a, I'm not forgetting this shit. But you got to allow God to heal that heart. So I didn't get to read the back part because I shuffled it in. And that's something that God wants you to go within. Let's see if I can find it. He wants you to go. He, he has a special message for you. That's going to be meditating. And they want me to show you this one. Okay. And this is very important, Libra, because maybe you're dealing with a little bit of revenge. Like you want revenge. Like you want to take it in your hands. And I felt that over the weekend, man. There was a lot of energies flowing back and forth. And I couldn't even do a video. Shit. But it says right here. Not giving a fuck is better than revenge. It says revenge is sucks. Just watch a superhero movie. And look at the villains. Those guys suck. Revenge is whack and petty. And it gives you wrinkles. You know what's hot? Being a bigger being the bigger person, letting shit go, hair flip that shit. And I wish I had hair. Si no le diera si no. And say and hair flip that shit, honey, and move the fuck on. So that's what I have for you, Libra. Put it in the comments. I'm moving the fuck on. Infinite Tarot eight eight eight. Hit the like button, share, subscribe, and comment, baby. Pull this energy. You got this. Ese pinche ex. Psycho. Chingue su madre. With love, eh? And that's true emotions. Infinite Tarot 888.